stock rollers are five grams and this is the stock 87 millimeter variator. The first time you take your thing off, you never get it off good. Just scrape it the rest of the way off. Don't replace it, no one ever does. Yeah. The belt does not appear to be going all the way to the outside of it. I'm gonna confirm that you can kind of see the line is going to right about here. So uh, not really traveling out there. So I might try heavier rollers and see what happens. Do want to see if I can attain more speed with heavier rollers though. So I'm going to go up a little bit from the five gram stock. I'm going to go to 6.3 gram rollers. These numbers don't mean much to you because your bike might be different, but it just lets you know how much I'm going up. Looks like I'm getting about a thousand RPM per gram of roller weight. Five grams were 8,400. RPM, this is gonna put me at about 7,000 RPM. I probably still like the five grams better, but uh, living in Florida, I think I can run some higher weight rollers than I need to and get more speed and not sacrifice too much down low since it's all flat land. On that run, all I could get to is 7,800 RPM, which makes sense. I'm going to take it on a long run, see if with a lot of distance I can get that RPM to come up and get some more top speed. That was fun for bragging rights uh, to see a stock 50 go that fast, but uh, I definitely wouldn't be running these rollers normally. It's just too sluggish. I must have went two miles to get that top speed. Yeah, I was just going forever. But it finally got up to 9,000 RPM. So, uh, yeah, once it hits about 86, 8,700 RPM, you can really feel the power come on. Try to think of these roller weights in your CVT transmission as one of these bicycles. If you go on the forum and say, how do I go faster? They're gonna tell you to go in that high gear. Unless you have really strong legs, you're actually gonna slow down because you can't pedal that hard. It's too hard to pedal. Roller weights are the same way. Heavier weights make you go faster, that's what the internet will tell you. Lighter weights make you go higher RPMs, that's what the internet will tell you. But, if you don't have the horsepower, you're not going to go faster with heavier weights. 9 gram rollers in, definitely takes off more sluggish. Give it gas. Yeah, not real responsive. Heavier rollers are trying to push a variator out, pushing the belt down into the bottom of the clutch, and making the rear wheel go faster. I probably don't have the horsepower to push those heavier weights to make the rear wheel go faster. Now with enough time and momentum, I can probably get to a high speed, but it's gonna take forever. So the short answer is heavier rollers are better for top speed. The long answer is if you don't have enough horsepower, you can't make that wheel go to that higher speed. You don't have the power to so that's the problem we're into. The rollers are trying to pull that belt tight in the back and the belt saying, uh, you don't got the power. The rear wheel saying, you don't got the power. The clutch is saying, you don't got the power. Take another nine gram roller run. Yeah, so the RPM only gets to about 6,000 with the nine grams in there. And uh, you're really not getting to that power band to make enough power to go fast enough. You gotta get the RPMs up around 8,000 RPM to get full power. I'm going to try a super long run and see if I can get this thing to uh, get up to speed. Ran out of road. I ran out of road, but I think eventually it would get to uh, a higher speed. But it's ridiculous to try to drive that far just to get to that speed. To get some more power in this bike i think those nine gram rollers will work pretty good five gram rollers took the belt to about right here the nine gram rollers took it to right there so the rollers did their job moved the belt up higher on the variator it didn't help us in top speed though because it just lugged the bike down to 6,000 rpm we didn't have the power to go faster if we had more power these nine grams would be the bomb i know that the nine gram rollers did worse but i'm going to go ahead and exaggerate it i'm going to put some 11 grams in there this thing is a pig now it barely takes off Barely gets out of its own way. It's full throttle. Holy cow. This is pathetic. I'm at 4,800 RPM. So 
if your goal is to get that bell to the outside of your variator, goal met with horrible results. That's why that shouldn't be your just only goal. So we didn't quite use the whole variator with the 11 grams, but we got pretty darn close. Bogged the bike down terrible. It was kicking it in this high gear way too early because those weights are so heavy. This thing doesn't have to spin fast, kick it out. This bike does not have the power yet for that bigger variator. We don't want to go to the outside of that variator. So if I were to go online and say, hey, how can I make my Mad Dog faster? And if you buy a CVT kit, your bike's going to slow down. Is that larger variator? Let's go the other way and see what four gram rollers will do. It feels like the clutch is slipping because it sure gets up to RPM quick. It honestly didn't make it that peppy. I thought it'd make it more peppy, but it just seems to uh, get the RPM real quick. Almost feels like it's slipping. I guess it's pretty quick with the uh, lighter rollers. It just gets up to RPM so quick it's noisier, I think. 8,000 RPM already. It just shifted up 7,600 RPM. Yeah, I like the 5 grams better so far. does on top speed. I got to 9200 RPM. It definitely put me in my power band though. So it just goes to show you lighter rollers can make it faster. If I lived in the mountains, I would probably use lighter rollers because it really has got a lot of power down low. It feels like it would climb hills good. That was a good test of rollers. I'll be putting the stock rollers back in, the five grams. I like them the best. And uh, they're like the quickest plus good top speed. I was doing what 39 with those uh, 40 in real life 39 on the GoPro so that'll be nice and uh, I'm gonna go put them back in I got to do an electric fuel pump test keep in mind all this testing you're doing is just like a carburetor on the rollers if you change something on the engine you know different cam carburetor whatever make it run different you need to re change your carburetor and your rollers and so I just reviewed that uh, run the lighter rollers, the four grams, actually made it faster. Now that power band up there, 8,500. You got to get to 8,500 maybe to make the power. Being able to run 9,200 RPM, more RPM is more speed. And with the heavier rollers, I just can't get to that RPM. 